Before you ask your question, Go I just ahead. want to give an example so the viewers understand what sort of candidates are being disqualified. It's not just like people like me or Nazanin outside Iran or, uh, you know, uh, people who took part in the massacre of Aborigines who have been disqualified. Someone like Reza Jalali, he's someone who went to the war front at the age of 13. He's a war veteran. He served many months in the war with Iraq. Uh, he defended our country. He's a university lecturer. He's been disqualified three times. Why should someone like that be disqualified? Uh, when uh, he is someone who fought against Saddam Hussein, someone who, who was an aggressor against our country, and yet we have someone like George Galloway, who's a friend of Uday Hussein, working for Press TV, working for the Iranian government. How is, just, how is this justified, Khan? Can you justify this for me? Well, you better, George, uh, you better ask George Galloway why he works for us, perhaps because he's disaffected with the fact that they, uh, they, ha they stole yeah, but his house. Why are you disqualifying someone who went and fought for the country? Why are you disqualifying someone who went and fought for the country? Excuse me, Mr. Azamir. Why are you disqualifying someone who was friends with our enemy? One second. Excuse me, Mr. Azamir. One second. You better ask the Guardian Council in writing. I don't run the government here. Right, but the but Guardian Council. The, is that speaking clear? On behalf the, of the Guardian government. Council, Nazanin. The Guardian Council. Oh. I'd like your opinion. I'd no, like it your isn't opinion. About that. I've heard my guest's opinion. Right. What's your opinion? <laughs> What's my opinion? My opinion is I've told you my opinion. Um, we have a. We, we, it, is a budding, it is a budding democracy in Iran. It requires work from patriots, uh, from uh, seculars, from uh, the religious, from everybody who can help this country. Um, and who's willing who to take the risk of the Evian prison who have been involved and in to, come here, to come here and contribute, and to co contribute. Um, I'd like to tell Mr. Azarmeh that Britain at the moment is reeling under a one trillion pound bezelment um, brought about by its democracy. So you better check around your own neighborhood first, Mr. Azarmeh, before throwing muck at Iran. Iran is not going to be little. But we're not be, talking about my neighborhood at the moment. Liable. We're talking about Iran. We because are you working, can't answer the questions are, about Iran, we are talking, you keep going to what, other places. Are we? We're why talking about we the talking? Iran elections here. Let, we're not no, talking about talk Aborigines. About, we're not talking about embezzlement in Britain. I, we're talking about Iran elections. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Would you like to calm down? If you like to keep shouting at me because you're going to see me as a representative of the government, then we better call this a day now. All right, well, I'm let's get Potkin's point time. of view. I'm let's get Potkin's some, point of view. Kian, one on second. Issue. Potkin, go ahead. Go he's ahead. I'll been, give you time to respond. He's been shouting the whole time at me. I mean, this is ridiculous. Potkin, go ahead and respond uh, to Kian. And also tell me, what's at stake 